Well, hi guys, big thank you for joining us in this week's video. Well, we leave the fabulous area of Tateva. It's been absolutely spectacular. And it's our furthest point south in Armenia that we're going to go to. We head northwest, avoiding the hundreds of animals on the road. We meet fellow travelers, and I take myself out for a cheeky little hike. I'm not sure I'm getting too old for this. Stay tuned. We are the Gap Decaters, Phil and Izzy. In 2018, we sold our house and all our possessions for life on the road. We're currently in our truck Tonka, exploring Europe and Asia. Join us on our travels as we endeavor to explore the world. And as always, please consider liking, subscribing, and hitting that bell notification. But enough of me talking, let's get on the road. Well, we like to keep the water topped up because you, you never quite know where you're getting the next drop of water. And so we just stopped at this garage because we're really in the sticks here. And we're driving past this little garage we thought it was stop, we'll ask. And this guy's been like, super helpful. I tried to give him um, a couple of quid and he, and he just won't have it. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's old school garage. And it's the oiliest floor you've ever seen in your life. But, you know, again, as always, really helpful, really genuine people. And uh, I have to say, the hose pipe, though, is really clean. I had a good look at it, but it's absolutely fine. And it's drinking water. It feels very strange to be driving north on a road that we've already driven on. We're actually going back to our little spot by the river that we loved. Um, we know it's a great little spot, so we said, let's go there. Uh, I think we're probably going to haul up for a couple of days and well, get a little bit of work done, have a little chill, and uh, go exploring a bit more. Well, it's become incredibly hazy today. You can just about make out the mountains in the distance. Well, here we are down by the river yet again. We love this little spot. I feel it's good to be back actually. It does. Oh, how's the water is? It's really cold. It's like ice cold. I just stood in it and had to get out because it's a bit cool. Yep. Oh, it's getting a bit cloudy now as well, but let's have a look. Well, I've just had a lovely chance to count it with the local farmer, a really lovely guy. Uh, we just spent about 10 minutes chatting. I mean, he couldn't speak any English. We don't speak Armenian. Um, but it didn't matter. There was enough crossover words that we could, we could understand each other. Um, you know, we could appreciate that, you know, we're in a lovely spot, the sun's shining, you know, life, life is good. Uh, he was quite intrigued by the truck. He had a look inside and, 
you know, asking where we're from, where we're going, and I think it's those chance encounters, and I think more so on this trip, actually, that, and it's usually because something's happened, you know, we've had a blowout, we need a mechanic, you need information, and people are just, they're so prepared and so willing just to stop what they're doing to help, uh, to help find the mechanic, the information, whatever it is you need to get you on your way. And they'll, they'll never take anything for it. You know, we've tried to pay people in the past and, and they just will not take money. Um, and sometimes, you know, just sharing a little glass of wine, sharing the moment and, and just saying thank you, that's appreciated so much more. Uh, and I think it's that that's really humbling. So every day at about sort of five o'clock, six, six o'clock, this is what we have. Almost every day. And we get this little bit of thunder and lightning. And sometimes it's nothing. Sometimes it's quite intense. It doesn't last very long. And then the next morning, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, clearly it's a mountainous country. And I think that's probably what's happening. Well, morning. Yep, we've got another gorgeous morning. Uh, but after the storm last night, uh, we've got some pretty filthy windows. We're on the move today, so I'm just gonna grab some water from the river, give the windows a clean, and get on the road. Well, I knew they were bad, but yeah, look at those. Well, it's not perfect, but it's certainly better. Well, that was one of the best wild camping spots I think we've ever had, actually. It was just really pleasant down to the river. Um, it was picturesque and it was just so, so quiet. So we slept really well and it was cool at night, which was just great. But we're still heading northwest and we're going to explore the west of the country. And we're actually going to a little campsite today, which is quite nice. So we'll probably stay for a night or two. It's on the way, so we thought we'll stop in. Um, I don't think it's that expensive, so yeah, give it a go. See how it is. Well, this is just so typical stuck behind these old vehicles usually old Kamaz kicking out loads of rubbish old Bukanka there oh, and there's a couple behind me as well that just you just see the plumes of black smoke they're all running on uh, Russian diesel which is like a really low grade diesel so I think we're good to go Absolutely thousands, thousands of these old Kamaz. They just never seem to stop. Look at that view. Right, well here we are on our little campsite. Stunning views. This is a treat. Well, what a lovely little spot. 
So we're just driving around the back here actually where there's a slightly bigger space. Yeah, it looks really, pretty lovely. There's a few other overlanders here. Ah. <laughs> Some people we recognize from Instagram. Ah, okay. Some other people we recognize from Instagram. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> that's the turtle trotters. Okay, there he is, giving us a wave. Right, let's just say hello and go from there. Uh, so we're just talking about this. Hello. This beast. Hello, hello. Uh, we just said it's a beast. It's ex-German military. Uh, we were just having a laugh because uh, in your French accent, it's brilliant. What does it do? It, Sorry. It yes. drinks. Is drink club. Me too. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> no, this truck is very is amazing, but it's drink. Yeah, very thirsty. Yeah. Yeah. But very capable. There's the beast. Oh, listen to that thing. Oh. <laughs> Well, these guys are all leaving. But listen to this, it's gorgeous. Oh, it's a beast. Have you done your nails? Yes. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> yes. Hey, Sif. Nice, nice. Enjoy the wine. Yes. Okay. I'll see you later, maybe. Wait, we'll see you. Exactly. <laughs> Ciao. Bye. Bye guys! Bye, Bye guys! See you on the road! We'll see you soon! Right, there we have it. We have the place all to ourselves. Well, morning guys. Well, really good little spot. We've got a little bit of road noise, but hey, look at the scenery. It's fantastic. So uh, I think the plan today is to get a little bit of washing done. Uh, first load's already on and a little bit of work. Now I think we're going to try and get a little bit of chill time as well, uh, but it's really starting to warm up here. I mean, eight, nine o'clock in the morning, it's already in the twenties. Um, it's not getting super hot during the day at the minute. It's about 26, 27 where we are. Um, we're still at about sort of 1600 meters so night times are still reasonably cool which is nice uh, but we are getting the bugs uh, turning up we get both bit, got bit by mozzies last night uh, don't normally get bothered by mozzies but uh, yeah you can tell things are starting to warm up so yeah that's um that's it but otherwise yeah what a good little spot so, we're almost on our own at the minute. We've um, had a few drinks last night with uh, Debbie and Ian from South Africa touring on a motorbike. Uh, so that was really interesting actually, speaking to them, understanding sort of what they're doing and their plans and yeah, I mean big plans, various continents. So that, that was interesting. Uh, very experienced travelers. Uh, so yeah, it's it's quiet. All the guys from yesterday in the trucks, they have all gone, all the kids. So it feels like a different place. What a plan, yeah. It's true. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm filming because I like the conversation. These guys are about to I know, you're going to go. Now go, 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 go. So we, we are the, between the one and the five percenters. Right? <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you in Spain. Congratulations on what you're doing, Anfield. Uh, uh, safe travels. Can catch you in Spain one day. I, absolutely. Listen, don't drop it on the way out because I'm going to have you on film. That would be embarrassing. <laughs> it be. No, do you know what though? It would make great footage. Yeah. Hey? It would make YouTube. great footage. I always say to him, please drive slowly when you... <laughs> <laughs> you know, the bike up first. With all these ugly rocks. Please drive. Uh, I want to look ugly for the camera. <laughs> uh, all the best, stay in touch. We'll keep a track of you. Yeah, 
Yes, absolutely. Great company. Bye, yeah, guys. Bye. Oh, that was good fun. Oh, lovely people. Yeah. I think they will stay in touch. Well, Izzy's come up trumps. Look at this. So this is the asparagus that we stopped and got by the roadside the other day. We managed to get some bacon. You can't always get bacon. Local eggs, fresh eggs. Fresh eggs. And, oh, I'm so looking forward to this. Mm. Right, let's stick in. I do like a bit of black pepper. Wow, what a treat. Well, morning guys. Well, I'm going to take myself out for a little walk today. Uh, up to this little hill behind me. Uh, it's already getting quite warm. I think it's going to be 20 today, but I'll be back by sort of late lunch, so it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, quick map breaky. There's no tracks as such, so I'm just going to try and find my way, get up there, and yeah, see how it goes. Right, I just clocked the first snake. Scared the absolute life out of me. Don't know if you can see him, oh he's off, he's off, he's off. Yeah, more frightened of me. Oh, I don't know where he's gone now. Oh, if there's one thing I don't like, is snakes. Um, and it's one of the things here, I mean, Georgia, Armenia, Azerbaijan, people do warn you about the snakes. And it's incredibly warm here at the minute. I mean, it's gonna be 20 degrees today, but you can see the grounds becoming parched already so yeah definitely on the lookout it's always in your mind so I uh, just gotta be careful really but they're pretty good if they hear you they'll disappear right that's the start of it well as you can see it's a there's a bit of a slug up I mean there's no tracks here it's uh it's the odd little animal track with the goats I've maybe traversed up the hillside, but yeah, there's there's not a lot here really, so just trying to pick my way through. And uh, yeah, trying to catch my breath. Well, it's pretty hard going. But yeah, what you, what you can really appreciate from up here is that it's very, very arid. What you see, the green space that you see down here, all this farmed land, I didn't realize it until I walked through it, but all of this is irrigated and there's huge water pipes. You can hear the water hissing as you walk through and you can tell it's irrigated. I mean, just looking at the mountains and the land beyond, it's just, brown, dry, and arid. But, we're halfway there. There's today's mission. So, onwards and upwards. Well, it's getting a bit cheeky. This last little bit has been, yeah, it's been quite tough actually. Uh, in a good way, I love this. This is right up my street. But uh, we're in the last hurdle, definitely. We've got the last little bit to go up here. A little bit, up to the top. But just stop for a moment, catch my breath, and just take in that view, because that is just fantastic. Ah, that's what it's about. Bit of fresh air, taking the view, and uh, yeah, enjoy it. Right, let's get back on it again. Right, just seen the second snake of the day. I was not even thinking about snakes for a minute. I was just concentrating on getting up this hill. I should have known a few rocks about. It's a bit of vegetation. 
from the crawling too, I just didn't have a camera on. And uh, I'm not the biggest snag fan, so I was quite happy just to let it disappear. That's a funny thing. So these things are incredible. They just disappear in the bush and you know it's in there, you can't see them. Right, camera down time, I think. Well, this is not Izzy's cup of tea at all. She doesn't like the scrambling. She likes a walk, but not this sort of stuff. So, I'm actually really glad that she's chosen not to come today. Because, uh, yeah, so it's a bit hairy in places. And she's, <laughs> she doesn't like that. So, yeah, I wonder what she's up to. Let's go. Phil will be thinking that I'm stuck at the laptop, but it's so lovely. I thought I'd come for a little swim and it's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, Phil at my age today. Oh. But yeah. Oh my goodness. Ah, feeling that, but uh, this is gorgeous here. Look at this. Look at this fabulous rock here. I mean, that's brilliant. Oh, if I thought for a minute I could get on that, I would. Right, walk was up. That's to come down. Let's go. Right, back on the moving rocks. They are a bit hairy. Well, I'm always super careful when I'm out here these days. One slip could really jeopardize, well, jeopardize me, jeopardize the trip. Uh, although Izzy can drive the truck, she doesn't get the license for it. And so we'd be stranded somewhere, in particular for wild camping. Uh, it doesn't leave in a good place. So uh, yeah, I tend to take my time these days, uh, pick my route and watch for fitting. Uh, last thing I want is a broken ankle, apart from my own personal safety on the mountain. I'm not sure what there is in the way of mountain rescue out here, but I wouldn't want to be dependent on it. 28 degrees today. I mean, it's, it's hot up now. It's sort of beyond midday. So, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, you wouldn't want to be dependent on uh, anyone trying to get up here. It's bad enough by yourself, uh, never mind with a stretcher. So, uh, yeah take my time and get down one piece. Well, that was an excellent day on the mountain, but the heat is getting up now. It's gonna be two o'clock by the time we get back to the truck. Uh, I'm only about 10 minutes away. So yeah, really good, but too warm to be out in the sun today. So I get back and have a little chill. Well, there is the beast in question, conquered. Ah, oh, what a beauty. Ah. Right, let's get the shoes off. All right. Well, let's see what Izzy's been up to. Hola! Oh, you're back. You're I'm okay. back! What do you mean I'm back? What? No, you sound you're surprised. surprised. I've been away for hours. No, you're Conquering. Right. You said you're huh? seven minutes early. No. You're right. Yes. How are you? Um, 
Yeah, yeah amazing. That was good. superb. Oh, good. All right. Well, the shoes are off. The kettle's just boiled. So, guys, thank you so much for joining us. And until the next time, safe travels. <laughs>